overall he's a good kid but he's kind of misled and I believe that to be true but if I'm to use the music on this thing as a guide I'm not really worried about him eventually finding his way Right now I'm feeling a strong 7, a very strong 7 to a light 8. All I know is that album. from front to back, I did not enjoy Goblin. There are some great tracks I pull out of it, but, you know, kind of a strong 4 to a light 5 on this album. Tyler is clearly not interested, at least at this point anyway, in improving his technical abilities as a rapper because a lot of his flows on some of these tracks can be kind of awkward, despite the fact that they may be heartfelt and very emotive. The instrumentals are a definite improvement, the feature list is pretty impressive, and getting people like Erica Badu and even Letitia Sater on your album is... I'm feeling a strong 6 to a light 7 on this thing. Uh, just because of the bad mixing and the bad production, uh, there are some instrumentals here that are some of the worst that have ever been on a Tyler the Creator album. So while I don't really care for this LP, uh, I do have to give it to Tyler for being one of the few artists out there bold enough to simultaneously disappoint and impress so consistently. I'm feeling a strong 3 to a light 4 on this album. I think this album is Tyler's best effort to date. It's a very tight 47 minutes, it's his best produced album, his best written and conceived album, his best performed and rapped album, and I loved a great deal of the tracks on this thing. I'm feeling a decent to strong 8 on this to record. Get the sense that he actually worked on this EP and put as much effort into this as he would a track on Flower Boy, and it's incredibly, incredibly obvious that he didn't, as it mostly just feels like he's slapping some tracks together in order to quickly cash in on the holiday spirit. I'm feeling a strong three to a light four on this thing. I actually think the sound of this album is about as rich as the pink, black, white, gray color palette of the album art here. It's obviously limited, but still presents a very compelling and sort of unsettling image. Overall, I think Igor is a fantastic album, and is easily one of the best breakup albums of the decade, which is no small feat considering that we're literally right toward the end of this decade. I'm feeling a decent to a strong nine on this thing. So much of this thing hinges on Tyler's personal success narrative, his personality, his character, his likability, and in that regard he as an individual is still far from perfect, but my god he has improved leaps and bounds beyond where he was at the Goblin stage for sure. The way Tyler produces, writes, raps, and dissects and, and describes his world uh, is just so much better than it used to be, and I think even he is uh, well aware of that. I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this one. 